So, we made it. I'm impressed, aren't you? I was so scared that I might lose you. But here you are. And here I am. Not bad, right? I bet this had something to do with that night. With Morrigan. Why you're still here, I mean. I'm not that dumb. The rest of the Grey Wardens haven't arrived yet for more lay. But they've already sent questions. What should I tell them? That a Maleficar saved you and then ran off to have my demon baby? That has a certain ring to it, right? No, I suppose I'll just keep that to myself. I can shrug and look stupid. It's a talent. Speaking of Morrigan, do you know where she went? I'm told she vanished right after the battle. No goodbyes or anything. Very dramatic. I don't imagine she'd be easy to find if she didn't want to be. At any rate, I can't wait to be alone with you. These formal affairs drive me insane. I get to marry the woman I love. I figure there can't be much better than that. I'll let you get to your adoring public. They want to see the hero of Ferelden, and who am I to keep them waiting? So it survived after all. My impression that all creatures made of flesh were hopelessly squishy was, uh, premature. No doubt. It has proven to me, however, that fleshiness does not automatically mean squishiness. It has made me revise my opinion of its kind, my kind. I am, or at least was, a dwarf. A creature of flesh. I have to keep reminding myself that. In fact, I think I may even try to become one again. Wynn has offered to accompany me to Tavinta to speak with the mages there. The Circle of Minrathrus has the largest collection of arcane knowledge in Thedas. If it is possible to reverse this process, then the knowledge to do so will be there, or well, that is my hope. And if not, then I will keep looking. I have nothing if not time, yes. That is tempting, very tempting, but no, this is something I must do. I intend to return eventually, unless I finally decide to destroy all pigeons everywhere. That may take a while, but otherwise I will come back. If it happens to one day see a tiny little dwarf who appears very nervous of being squished, that will be me. Until then, I wish it well. It, you, have been a fine friend. It is very strange to hear so many speak of a mage in such glowing terms. Deserved, of course, but still not what I am accustomed to. Allow me to offer you my congratulations, and my thanks. The tower is now nearly restored to order. It could have been so much worse. It pleases me to see such a young pupil achieve prominence. I look forward to watching what you accomplish next. Now, I should leave you to your celebration. <laughs> Aldred's revolt has left me very quick to tire these days. Retirement will come soon, I think. So here we are. The conquering heroine has won the day, and now she takes her bow and exits the stage. A fine ending. And my part was small. I'm happy to watch you receive the accolades, it's quite fun. You know, I can't help now but think of my vision. The Maker sent me to help you, and look what you did. It's a miracle. It truly really is. I've been asked by the Chantry to return to the Urn of Sacred Ashes. I need to make sure it's protected. Maybe pilgrims can even begin going there again. 
Oh no, you have your own things to keep you busy, I'm sure. It will be a grand adventure of my very own. I'm looking forward to it. At any rate, you should get back to the celebration. We can speak another time. I will be relieved when all this pomp and ceremony is done. Such events are perfect opportunities for assassins, after all. I can't help but expect the crows to appear at any moment. Which would be a welcome break, mind you. You see? This is why I like you. Always game for a little fun. You know, it does occur to me that staying in one place is only going to invite the crows to find me that much quicker. While fun, that might eventually get... complicated. You said earlier that you were planning on remaining here, is that true? Hmm, and if I said I was thinking of moving on, seeing the sights, uh, meeting new people and killing a few? Then let the crows bring it on. I can mock them while you crush their skulls. It's the sort of thing that made us friends, after all. Brings a tear to the eye, really. Well then, since I am sticking around, I suppose we'll have plenty of time to speak later, yes? So go on and get paraded about. It's fun to watch. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on you and make sure no one gets a clear shot. Not without paying me a great deal of coin, anyhow. Humans have a better taste for spirits than I thought. <laughs> the ale up here is actually good. Horse of our ale tastes like dirt in comparison. Probably because they put dirt in it. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, for now. They may have already branded me a surfacer back home anyhow. I'm getting used to that big sky up there. And I'm thinking I might just look up Felsi again, see where that goes. Ha! <laughs> I'll drink to that. Ah, oh, well, enough babbling. That pot-bellied son of a whore Tegan said I'd pass out before drinking an entire barrel of pickle juice. I aim to prove him wrong. It's been good traveling with you, Warden. Don't get lost in the shuffle now. It is good to see you again, Kadam. These people, they call you hero. It is a strange word, but I think I understand its meaning. The Arishok on occasion has declared a Kunari to be Kunoran Vel, one who serves as an example to others. Such examples are always made after their death, however, a death in service to the Kun. A living Kunoran Vale would be too proud. When a Kunoran Vale is declared, certainly. It is one of few occasions when the Kunari are permitted to engage in revelry. There is imbibing of spirits, public chanting, meditations abandoned. It is madness. It is... interesting. It can take days for the Ben Hasrath to restore order. There may even be executions. I suppose I should tell you. I have decided to return to my people. Your quest is done, and thus so is my reason for accompanying you. Is that truly what you want? There is much to hold you here, and it is a long journey. Funny. Yes. If you truly wish to come, I have a ship prepared to leave in two days' time. Meet me at the docks after all this celebration is over. It would be good to continue our travels. If I do not see you there, Hanahedan Kadan, may you always find the path you seek. The Hero of Ferelden. My, my. How does it feel? Of that I have no doubt. It's a title you'll be wearing for a long time to come, just as Loghain wore his. But it's not so bad, is it? 
a blight defeated with the other nations barely becoming aware. Who could ask for better? I don't think many heroes ever do. I'm glad not to be on the receiving end of all this attention myself. I say, let the young have their fame. Not that I've gone without notice. Irving asked me to take over as first enchanter, but I don't wish to go back. Not after all this. Instead, I've decided to travel. Shale has expressed a desire to go to Devinter to look into a way to regain her mortality. And uh, I will join her. I understand you are remaining in Denerim, so we will likely see each other a great deal. I look forward to it. For now, I imagine the hero of Ferelden still has much to do. Good luck. It is over. I can barely believe it. You stopped the civil war and then defeated the Blight. On behalf of Ferelden, allow me to say thank you. It truly cannot be said enough. <laughs> so I'm learning. It's good that you're staying here in the capital. The hero of Ferelden will have influence, and there is much to be done. Myself, I will be remaining here to help Alistair. Tegan will take over the rule of Redcliffe, at least for the time being. Connor seems well enough, and Isolde refuses to speak of what happened. She says she never wants to go back. I cannot thank you enough for saving them. They are the joy of my existence. Tell me, have you noticed anything strange about the lad? He seems quiet. Ah, you are no doubt correct. It is my imagination, I am sure. But here I am, rambling on. I shall let you get back to your celebration, Warden. Enjoy it while you can. The crowd is waiting for you outside. We can speak more afterwards, if you like. Very well. Are you ready, my lady? The crowds outside are getting restless. Right. I'll take you there now. Follow me.